Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day officially um, here in Arizona, and it is uh, a rainy day in September, which is quite unusual for this time of year, but I, we're just going to have a wet winter is what I'm guessing. So this is an unplanned live. Normally, I just go live once a week on Thursdays at 4 p.m., but I wanted to touch on the topic of price increases. Um, you guys have heard me talk about it for a while. Um, inflation. Hi, I don't know who's there. Inflation is here, and um, if you haven't noticed or you've been under a rock somewhere, um, I've always felt that inflation was about 24%. Um, I listened to a couple speculators, some financial advisors yesterday, some people who um, are more in depth in their business than I am with how the United States is working, and according to two separate people that I listened to yesterday, it's it's about 30%. It's it's not the 8.34% in, in inflation that they keep pitching on the main news media, it's roughly 30%. Um, I have a cousin who lives in England at the moment, and she said it's about a 40% increase over everything. That's fuel, milk. Um, it's, it's just, it's crazy. Like milk is like 15 bucks a gallon right now. Um, over the summer, it was $25 a gallon. It just depends on, you know, supply and demand and what they're doing to control the supply chains. So um, I wanted to come out here and um, remind you that this group is all about reciprocity. Um, and if you're not quite sure what that word means and you've never heard of it before, please Google it. It's where um, I give you information and then you um, hopefully will use my services down the road is um, basically all of this group. So we have 5,000 business owners in here, which is awesome, right? But <coughs> there, it, there, it has to be give and take. So I'm really a big believer in, in reciprocity. Um, you will hear that word thrown around a lot from country to country, but um, it really is a big deal. And I feel that it's important to be able to give back. When I was a brand new business owner, I had to figure out and invent the wheel. I mean, I there was no internet, there was no Facebook, there was no social media. Well, hi, Laura. Um, there was some internet, but it wasn't quite the way it is now, right? There weren't Facebook groups where we could all come together and say, hey, can you help me out with this pricing? Um, it's an interesting dynamic what we find ourselves in. So with the price increases, and this is a step-by-step, -step, there is a template in the guide. So if you are brand new to this group, I know it says, will you, do you agree to review the guides? And you know, I'm a skimmer myself. <laughs> so sometimes we skim when we, because we just want in the group and we want to find what we want to find, right? So Anytime you're asking a question, I'm always going to refer you to the guides first. There's like literally 28 or 29 guides packed full of thousands of dollars of free information. And then you can go to my YouTube channel and there's over 70 videos there. But it's important that you find the template, the price increase template. Um, you should have given two price increases so far this year. Um, I know that a couple of you guys are just doing STRs and yours is going to be annually and you do yours a little bit differently. And I totally understand that. However, with a 30% inflation rate, we really need to make sure that you guys are on the mark. So you should have given two price increases already so far. Um, I spoke with one individual who said that she didn't want to raise her rates because she was afraid of losing people. And that's just part of the process. Um, my suggestion to you is that you do them in increments. So you, if you decide what your price increase is going to be, whether it's going to be 10%, normally I say it's five to five to 7% annually. Um, these last two years have been the exception to the rule. So it should be a minimum of 10% increase every single time because you want to make sure that your profit margin stays the same, right? You want to make sure that your labor margin stays the same so you can always have top quality people working for you. And you can't do that if your profit margin is squeezed, being squeezed, and then you're not paying your workers, right? Right now I'm paying my guys 30 bucks an hour. Everybody across the board is getting 30 bucks an hour. And people are like, oh my God, that's really high. And I'm like, this is what it takes to get good help. So for those of you who are paying $12 an hour or $15 an hour, listen to what I'm saying. You need to increase the rate or you're going to lose them. And trust me, we all know that the employees right now are golden unicorns. I mean, especially in my town, I spoke to someone yesterday about, you know, why we have so much money to spend on each spot. How much is each spot on your schedule worth, right? There's a video for that. Um, each spot on my schedule is worth about 350 bucks, right? So if you tell me at the last minute you cancel and I can't fill that spot, you owe me 350 bucks as far as I'm concerned. I can't, well, I won't come out and say it like that, but that's the reality of it. So when you're scheduling a $60 clean versus a $300 clean, which one are you going to take, right? 
So if the $60 clean is giving you all kinds of problems because they want you to do extras that you didn't negotiate or maybe you did and they didn't hear you, um, there's a lot of variables that happen. So make sure your communication is clear. I don't have, we'll just pretend this is my contract bundle. I had a really big spider on my desk last night when I was on a live. <laughs> so I, it was like this. So I had to move some stuff around on my desk. And, um, but there is, the reason why I have a contract bundle is um, because every single one of those items is a blender that I made in my business. I've been doing this over a decade and um, every time I had a blender, it was an ouch to me. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't have an ouch again because they were painful. No one likes to eat money. No one likes anyone taking advantage of them and no one likes to be bullied, right? So, um, it, and it works both ways. That's why I always mention reciprocity. So when I'm asking to call me, you need to call me on time. You need to show up and have your questions ready because I only have a small window. I, as most of you know, sometimes I'm taking calls when I'm doing drop off and pick up at school. <laughs> it's, it's, I got a six and a seven year old and I have a 28 year old and a 27 year old. So it just depends on where you are in your life. So um, price increases are important. There is a price increase template that you can use. Just copy and paste it, make it your own. I highly recommend that you do a price increase at least have twice so far this year and you should be able to get a third one in especially with the prices of inflation being at 30 percent and then if you haven't started buying extra supplies i don't know what's going to happen i'm not in charge of that but just make sure you have extra supplies on hand so that you have chemicals that you can clean so your business isn't shut down because there's a supply chain issue with the person who makes disinfectant right um it, and, and it, everybody's feeling the pinch with supplies. I mean, how much rice should you have on hand is a, a whole different topic that we could talk about for hours and hours and hours. But on the same level, you need to be able to have your business continue to run. And how you do that is by having extra supplies on hand. And, and there's ways you can work around it. Like um, Pure Evergreen makes one concentrated bottle makes 120 other bottles, right? So that is a good buy. And that would be something that I would keep in my garage for emergency purposes. I still have three sitting by my washer. I gave one to my mom. She'll never make 120 bottles out of that liter. But um, make sure that you're giving price increases. Um, I would do so before the election. If you're looking for a good date, um, astrologically speaking, October 4th is an awesome day to give price increases. Please only do a couple price increases at a time. So that way, if they decide that they can no longer afford you, and they jump and you have you're not without income I don't like those phone calls that I gave everyone a price increase and everyone jumped and it's all your fault um, listen to what I'm saying a few at a time so one or two at a time until you get all of them done so if you have 40 clients and two so that would take you to the end of the year to get all your price increases done um, and then at the beginning of the year we're gonna do another price increase because that's the annual price increase right so um, if you are interested in the contract bundle I had someone ask me why I charged and I got I'm squirrel right <coughs> the reason why I charge is because they're mine <clears throat> I made them a hundred percent I did have an attorney help me with the non-compete um, for my welcome um, packet and um, the reason why is because I wanted to make it as legal as possible but everything else I made it was something that I drew up it took hours of labor and every single item that's on there is a labor of love because I have blundered it and eaten it in my business and I'm here to make it so you guys don't have to eat it as much or as often as I did because it's not fun not getting paid from anybody. So pretend this is the contract bundle. So it's actually $99 and um, you get the welcome and the move out cleaning and the post construction cleaning and the top to bottom deluxe cleaning. And I'm sure there are others that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think there's like seven or eight contracts for 99 bucks if you needed to buy them individually. I had someone get really upset with me the other day because they wanted one for their STR and um, they're 35 bucks. It's, if you want one individually, it's $35. Occasionally I'll have a special and while I'm doing the live, I'll sell it to you for five bucks. But I haven't done that in a while. So I wanna make sure that you guys are following protocol and it's really important that you make your clients sign the contract or the agreement. Agreement is a better word than contract. Um, agreement doesn't sound as permanent or as ouchy when you present it to your clients. And you are gonna have clients who say, no way, I'm not doing it. I had one the other day, it was a weekly client, and um, we keep all credit cards on file, and there's a reason for that. It's because I always get paid. So um, he didn't want that, he wanted to pay cash. I'm like, you can still pay cash to the cleaning tech, but you need to keep the credit card on file. And he didn't wanna do that, and I wasn't gonna debate the issue. He's new to the area. We run things a little differently because I live in a smaller town. 
Um, that is another thing I hear a lot. I can never get those prices because I live in a small town. I'm telling you right now, I get those prices every single day and I live in a small town. So it's just mindset and being able to overcome that I feel comfortable enough to charge what I'm worth. We're considered the 23rd trade, right? So um, that's important as well. And um, yeah, if you need help with the price increase, please hit me up. If you need to talk to me about like help or whatever, I, I'm starting to do seven minute spots. I can't do any longer than seven minute spots. I'm not charging you guys for the call nine times out of 10. Um, and again, reciprocity, right? So if you um, are late to your appointment, I'm going to have to wait and you're gonna have to wait till the next available appointment. And there's only so many, because I can only do so many a day, in a day and I only work Monday through Thursday typically. So um, that's important. If you specifically need help and you're apprehensive about the price increases, hit me up, I'll be more than happy to walk you through. Anyway, I shall see all of you guys tomorrow, Thursday at 4 p.m. Arizona time. <laughs> I hope you guys have a fabulous Wednesday. Take care.